So one of the things I want to point out to you, if you're not used to using an auto ranging meter, is the fact that you have to always be careful and you have to understand what you're going to read before you make a measurement. I can't stress enough uh, the fact that before you make any a measurement, whether it's electrical, pressure, temperature, you need to know what the measurement should be before you actually make the measurement. In this case here, you can see I'm reading around 248, 249 millivolts. And for a, a younger technician, they might see that 248, 249, they think that's actually voltage AC. And in fact, it's only millivoltage AC, and this is the challenge with an auto ranging meter sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the range key on the meter. And when I hit the range key, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the scale. So now I'm gonna change it again. So now we're at the 60 volt scale, change it again, and I'm at the, uh, at the 600 volt scale. And now you can see that is only about two tenths of a millivolt right here we see on the display, and that's fine now. But you can see that we actually have zero volts. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a disconnect here for just a second, and you'll see that I go up to 241 volts. Now, guys all day long will tell you that uh, 241 is fine, and this is electrical pressure. And electrical pressure is a lot different than electrical flow. We wanna make sure when this unit starts and running that it actually doesn't have a lot of voltage drop in there. So what I'm gonna do for a minute, is I'm gonna hit the relative key right here, and that's gonna take it down to zero. So now my relative voltage is zero. I'm gonna disconnect this, and it's, you'll see it go to negative 241. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my contactor. Come on, there we go. So I got the 24 volt contactor connected. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my disconnect back in. And my unit's gonna start here. And you can see with the unit running, I'm actually getting about a 2.7 to 3 volt drop, uh, a voltage drop. We'll let that run for a few seconds here and stabilize here, but I'm getting about a 2 to 3 volt drop. In fact, if I slide over here, I can see my mean voltage here. Well, that won't tell me what I want to see, but I can see I'm running about a 2 to 3 volt drop. Now, what we allow for is about a 3% voltage drop in the line. So if I just go here, go back to my calculator for a minute, and I say, okay, 247, oops, clear, 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 247 times 3%, I can have about a seven volt drop, I'm about half that, so that's good. Now, a lot of guys will miss this all the time. Let me disconnect this just so we don't have to talk over the air conditioning system. They'll try and they won't test this, they won't test to see where their voltage is uh, when the system is sitting there dormant and then test it again when the system's running. And what that tells us is, do we have a loose connection between the electrical panel through the disconnect into the unit? A lot of guys will wanna put a start assist device on there because the system won't start and it could simply be low voltage due to a loose connection or an undersized feed wire. And using, using this relative feature and the meter allows us to quickly determine if that's a problem. And we're actually solving the problem instead of just um, putting a mask on the, uh, on the system um, by adding a start component that we really don't need.